What is up my earth signs? This is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And this is for the end of December going into November. I'm still trying to get a handle on everything that I have going on. So this will be for all three signs and it will be from the end of December and to November. Probably the first week in November, just so I can get a little bit caught up with everything I have to do, like baby laundry and all that fun stuff. Um, so this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. I am a Venus Taurus, so I am right in there with you. <clears throat> and I'd like to collect it, please. The collective energy of Taurus from the end of December to the beginning of November, the first week. Ooh, some of you are pregnant. No thanks on that again. I think I'll stay away. I was in labor for five days and they gave me so many bags of magnesium to stop me from going into labor that I got sick like the exorcist. Never again. One and done. Thank you, Edward, for our cute little mini us. Um, some of you may... I'm not going to go there. Some of you may have lost the baby. We'll put it that way, okay? Um, I feel like this is coming from a married relationship. Whether you're... No, I think that you are the mistress. This is not for everybody. Okay, this is a general reading, so keep that in mind. Collective energy for Taurus for the month of December in the middle to the first week of January. That's not for everybody, so let me explain this. Let me put this down before we, we have everybody have a heart attack. This is for... Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, which is your big three, and then Mercury, Mars, and Venus, which is your big six. So the two sets of three are included into one. I am a Venus uh, Taurus. This is not going to be for every Taurus on the planet. I'm talented, but I'm not that talented. Um, <clears throat> if it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. You can't force a story to fit that doesn't fit. So if this is not your story this month, guys, this is not your story. I'm going to be doing readings every month. Plus, I do lives at night. Um, I do lives um, sometimes 9, sometimes 7. Depends on what it is. Um, if this is not your story, don't make it fit. Don't try to jam the puzzle pieces in. I tell you all the time. Um, the other thing is that... Hmm. At the 13th wick, um, 13THWICK on Facebook. If you look it up, my friend Jill is, uh, she's running a fundraiser for me, Aries, and Edward for everything that we're going through, which I just um, processed a video and published a video about this whole story. Um, if you buy a candle, she gives 20% of the proceeds to Aries, who is a NICU baby. Um, she's getting better, but right now she is still only four pounds. So anyway, um, there's that. And there's, if you guys are looking for a Christmas special, there's 15% off of your service when you buy that impossible person to get a gift for. If you get them a reading, you get 15% off of your your service. Um, <clears throat> also, last thing, cross watchers. The energy can come in vice versa. I'm going to say Taurus for the sake of us fucking all. Because if I start saying Taurus and then Taurus is lover and then blah, 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 what? Just sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher. Another thing, I noticed a lot of you start asking what signs. Here's the problem. I don't do signs and I don't do time. Signs, because you can come up with every single sign in the zodiac 
in one reading. I don't think that's a gift. Some readers like to do it, some readers don't. I only do it when it's very specific. Like for me, Scorpio is death and the King of Wands because Scorpio is also ruled by Max, which is Aries ruler. Scorpio just has that Pluto aspect and a watery aspect, but they're very fiery and passionate and loving and they're just like a fire sign, except they have a little bit of water to make them sensitive. Um, but they fight like a motherfucking fire sign. Um, I think. You know what? Never mind. I'm just going to get into the readings. Just for the sake of everybody, I'm saying just... That's what I was going to finish was I'm saying one sign if I really, really see it. If I see three cards that significant, significantly uh, remind me of that particular sign, I will. But please don't ask me to say 12 signs because that doesn't make sense. You could be dealing with anybody because let me put it this way. I'm an Aries sun, a Leo moon, and an Aries rising. Now, if I were an Aries sun, a Leo moon, and a Sag rising, I can be taken as a Sag rising. So that card for Sagittarius could come up instead of the Aries. So to pay, it really depends on each person's birth chart. Okay? Okay, good. Starting the reading. Somebody mark this at seven o'clock exactly or seven o'clock i'm so fucking tired it's 2 10. seven minutes exactly okay so we have a card refusing to go back in the deck that is the five of cups in reverse okay so i did get a new deck so i will show it to you um five of cups in reverse okay this talks about a phase passing through your life where you've been devastated by someone or something. Okay. This devastation runs so deep that it can cause depression. It can cause all kinds of problems. This is not just devastation. It is depression in the deepest form. It's rock bottom. Okay. We're not just talking about, oh, you cried for a week and then you were over it. No, we're talking about something that affects you for a very very long time can affect your behavior and can affect so many things in your life okay your love life your work life because if your love life's fucked up let's face it your work life's fucked up your social life's fucked up you're seeing people you haven't seen in months your work life you're probably you know lacking in work and your bosses are noticing Hopefully you have good bosses that let you, um, that let you go through what you need to go through and still allow you to continue your job. From what I'm seeing here, there is a presence in your life that's very, very sharp. Could be a judge. But I don't think so because next to it is the Page of Cups. We've got the King of Swords and the Page of Cups. I know this is much different than the deck you're used to seeing me use, which is the Arcanum. Still my favorite deck. But, oh, they have a message for you guys. Put away the options and work on yourself. Still my favorite deck, and that is why. But this, I really like this deck, and I think that it could do a world of good with the new readings I'm doing. But you have the King of Swords and the Page of Cups. So this is someone who's sending little love gestures your way, or did. Someone from your recent past within, I, like I said, I don't do times. Now here's my exception. If I say from your recent past, I mean zero to six months or zero to a year. Now, if this person comes up to be more than a year, 
then that means there's a lesson there that you haven't quite learned and I'd suggest booking a private reading, maybe the light and dark tarot to figure it out. Because you're going to end up dating the same person with a different face every time. So if they're an asshole, you're going to date an asshole every time. Yes, there was a, there's a decision between lovers. There's a decision that's being made and I'm not sure if it's by you or your significant other. Okay, Taurus, um, there's a, there's a decision to be made here with the, be careful because with one of these personalities, I feel like there's two, there's a younger one and an older one. The older one is very harsh. Um, and you're trying to make a decision on whether or not you want to be with this person. Now, just because they're kings, they're androgynous, which means they don't have a sex. For me, personally, the way I feel it is through energies. They all have a certain energy to them. Luckily enough, this king of swords here isn't in the reverse. The king of swords in the reverse is my abusive energy. It doesn't mean that I don't like Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It means I don't view it as a card with signs. I view it as an energy specifically. The only time, like I said, I view it as a card with signs is when several significant cards come up that remind me of a particular sign or I blurt it out. There's two energies here. One is an older person who's not really giving genuine um, tokens of love. And I feel like that's where the decision needs to be made. But here's the problem. With the younger person, um, this person has money problems and they're not telling you. So it's kind of like they want to live off of you and you know, take in the fruits of your labor. They want you to, um, yes, they want you to take care of them. They may have plenty of sweet words, sweet nothings. Um, but when it comes down to it, what speaks louder is actions or words. I'm sorry. I'm not a word person. I'm just not a word person. You better show me some action, motherfucker. Sorry. Luckily, my husband shows action every day. He never fails to show up for me, and I never fail to be there for him. And it doesn't look like you're happy with either one of these people. Now, this could show up for you as family. It could show up as friends. It could show up, I'm guessing, as lovers. Because the Knight of Cups is a playboy. He's the playboy of the Zodiac. He's what I refer to as the duffel bag boy. He's there for a couple of weeks. He makes you feel good. He makes you feel in love. And then all of a sudden his duffel bag is gone and so is he. And he's lying about where he is next. This is the type of guy that, you know, wants to crash in your bed for a few weeks and then be out. And it's showing me here, the Queen of Coins, reversed. It's also showing me the Ten of Wands reversed. So this person has debt or is in debt to others. And with... Ooh, the wheel fell right side up. Um... With the wheel here, it's almost like it's cyclical with this person. You could go round and round, okay? With this, you're not happy with either one. You've got the sun here. Sorry about the glare, guys. I have super mommy glare. Like, my mommy glare is ridiculous. Let me see if I can turn it down a little bit. Um, 
you up the sun here. Nope. Didn't make one bit of a freaking difference, did it? You have the sun here. And with that, you have the Ten of Swords. And with that, you have the High Priestess. And so you know that neither one of these people are good for you. You're aware of that. Okay? You're aware that neither one of these people is good for you. This person who's young has been in your life before and is incapable of caring for themselves. And it would seem the older person would be the option for you. However, the problem with that is that you don't, you have a decision to make because they're not being authentic with you and you can feel it. And you can feel that this other person has also been in your life before and devastated you, this young person, and you had strength, you moved past it, you carried on to something bigger and better. <laughs> You walked away, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. You walked away, Taurus. And it was a heavy-handed decision. I don't feel like you did it easily. Now, the person we're talking about is the younger person in your life. This could be a son who um, has a drug addiction. This could be a lover. My guess is a lover because they're sitting there like, this is the playboy of the Zodiac. They're younger. They have roses in their hand. They're, you know, doing all this kind of shit. Um, but they've devastated you before. And it's like you need to remember how devastated you were. You communicated. You fought hard for this person. And when it came down to the Two of Wands, I mean, here's your communication. The Eight of Wands. When it came down to this fork in the road, you got screwed. And you walked away. And it was not, yeah, the devil... It seems like there was a third party in the middle that this is not a third party card, but that's the feeling I'm getting. This is like a third party in the middle, the devil. Um, it's just a really, really horrible third party in the middle. There was some things that feel like they happened. Um, Maybe addiction got in the way. Maybe bad behaviors got in the way. Maybe other people got in the way. And it very well could be other people, but it doesn't appear that way. Okay, this is the Three of Cups. But if I look at it in the sense of this is past, then this could mean that someone did get in the way of it. Okay. <clears throat> page of swords so this is somebody who still watches from a distance or watches you and spies on you um this is somebody who still cares for you and you've got the perfect balance now you move past this You cut out everything you need and didn't need. And you feel manipulated by that situation. You feel as though this younger person tried to manipulate you. Okay. Maybe you tried and tried and tried and you put in all this effort and then, I don't know, they ghosted you or something. I don't know. Whatever this situation is, you've tried. And you had a tower moment with them. Um, this could be zero to six months, zero to 12 months. If it's later than that, then there's still a lesson you haven't learned. 
Now, this older guy behaves like the second player of the Zodiac. He's the Knight of Wands. But he puts on the Ten of Pentacles, okay? He puts on the facade that, you know, you're going to have it all and comes on thick and probably, you know, oh, I have money or whatever it is that they think that their shit don't stink. But their shit stinks just like fucking everyone else, okay? They're bullshit. And you're waiting for that Three of Wands where you planted all your seeds and you're starting to harvest and... Okay, so where is it? Where's all this bluster that you're fucking talking about? The point of the matter is they don't have it. This person is the King of Swords and they're very honest. They're very cutthroat. Um, in reverse, they can be very abusive if they're not careful. This person would be someone who's brutally honest and wouldn't care about hurting your feelings. The Ace of Pentacles upright. So this person may have been running into some hard times financially, but they're still, they're coming into it with the hanged man. So they're still in a stuck position financially. Um, they don't seem like too bad of a person. They're just not giving, I feel like they're there for money and not for the right reasons. Because I don't see an Ace of Cups here. I, his, I see an Ace of Cups in reverse. That doesn't show me love. This shows me a love of bank account. And not you. Just giving you what you want so they have a hand in your bank account at all times. Making sure that they're cared for. Ten of Cups. It's almost like they're putting on a facade of all this happiness and this bliss and this family shit. And when it comes down to it, they really don't give a fuck as long as their monetary needs are met. That's the way they see it. And they're dealing with an Aries. They need to remember that. Um, some of you may or may not have had a child with this person. Um, you may or may not have lost a child with this person. Based on the cards I'm seeing here. Um, no reasons to celebrate. Feeling at a loss. And you're constantly taking a stand with this person. And they have secrets. They have secrets. So, although you're giving them everything that they want, they have secrets. Because they're not in love with you, they're in love with your bank account. Not at all what you wish for. You wish for the complete opposite. Someone to love you without the money. All right, Taurus, that's it. If you want something further than that and you want to know what's going on with this person, please feel, feel free to email. I can't even talk tonight. I'm so tired. Feel free to email me at the box below and I will set up, uh, uh, send a list of services. Um, I'm going to move on to Libra. I mean, Libra. Ooh, wow, tonight. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on now. Yeah. It's Virgo time. Can we get the collective energy of Virgo in here? From the end of December into the middle of January. Collective of Virgo. Virgo. 
What's the collective energy for Virgo for the month of December going into the month of January, please? Collective energy for Virgo. So it seems like you guys are doing a lot of fighting. It could be with a father figure or a boss figure, Virgo. That's what I'm getting. There's a lot of internal argument. There's a lot of external argument. Could even be a boss. But there's some arguing there and it feels like there's two kings. So it feels like there's two bosses there and you're kind of going in between them if that's not it for you then um yeah virgo sun moon rising mercury mars venus energy comes in vice versa i'm saying virgo for the sake of all of our sanity we know the spiel um please mark virgo at 26 minutes if you guys don't mind because i'm so tired um it feels like you're out of communication with someone that you really want to be in communication with. Your wish card is there and it's telling me you want to be in communication with this person, a relationship with this person. But there's all this fighting and aggravation, so you may have a choice between two, Virgo. There's no communication at this time. And it doesn't look like you're going to get back together, whichever one it is that you're hoping to get back together with, okay? And whoever this is, this person is only a soulmate. And remember, expiration dates on soulmates. That's how to remember it, okay? Expiration dates on soulmates. Twin flames are forever. And uh, there's no getting away from that shit. Okay. So Virgo. This can apply, it cannot apply. It depends on the Virgo, depends on your chart. Please, if the pieces don't fit, don't make them fit. I feel like you made a heavy handed decision recently because this person wouldn't open up to you, whoever this person is. And that's why you're non communicative, is that you. Virgo are refusing to give way. You're refusing to give any ground to them whatsoever. It's like either black or white. And for them, that's judgment. That's it. Call it a wrap. Call it a day. But still, there's a desire there for equal give and take. Equal communication, equal give and take, equal everything. The thing is, is... <clears throat> One of you is tired of being disappointed and you're tired of, tired of going through this fake ten of pentacles, we're a family thing and all this bullshit when the fact is, is you just had a huge tower moment. The tower is in reverse, so I'm going to say that it was uh, zero to six or six to 12 months ago. If it's not and is older, you haven't learned the lesson from it. Email me in the box below and we'll use the light and the dark reading that I'm just coming up with. Um, or we can use some of the other readings that are named on the, um, the list of services. Either way, email me, get a list of services, and we'll talk about it. Um, Three of Cups in, is in reverse and it shows me the cards of Leo. So I'm going to mention it. 
just because it shows me the king of excuse me the king of wands and it shows me strength okay it's not showing me any third parties at this time but it is showing me someone standing right in their power okay so somebody here is is right they're standing right in their power they don't have any other options this is not cyclical and this person is truly in love it you may be tired of being disappointed by this person you may be in love with this person you may um, have cut out all other options for this person but for some reason you are continuously being shut out and let down now with this heavy-handed decision it looks like This person didn't really, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks like this person didn't really know how to act. Everything went out of whack and it's like they became the asshole card. This is my asshole card. He's still an asshole even in this deck. Who knew? Um, but with the two of swords reversed, the five of swords in the upright and temperance reversed, it feels as though... This person began to act like this after you made a decision to cut them out, even though you were in love with them. They started to act in a way that was not what you knew of them. I feel like you didn't know them in this way. And so maybe this is a lesson for you to get to know them in this way, for you to um, get to know that side of them. That side of them that isn't very nice when it's out of balance. Now, we've got the Eight of Wands, which means you're probably out of communication with this person. You may very well be, and that's why you're wanting to get back together or... You're missing them. I feel as though you're missing them. A part of you, that independent, critical part of you doesn't want to give in. And with the Page of Wands, no one is really making a move here. It's like things are in balance exactly as they are, even though you guys are not together. You are not speaking tell, and it being in balance tells me that expiration date soulmate, okay? I have a feeling as though the reason that you don't want to go back is that this became physical between you two. And I don't mean sexual, I mean violently physical for some of you, not all of you, okay? N the, this may not even be your story, and if it's not, check your sun, check your moon rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus. Go in that direct order. Moon, rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and look for messages there. But I feel like this got heated between the two of you at one point, and it broke your heart. I feel like it got physical. You've got the devil, you've got the king of swords in reverse, and you've got the queen of wands in the reverse. Now the King of Swords in reverse doesn't fuck around. He's abusive as they get. He's abusive mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, if he if he can be. And the Queen of Wands is nasty. I am the Queen of Wands, and she can be very, very nasty at times. Um, she doesn't back down. She doesn't fear anything. And here it's showing me it's showing me that there's some hurt in the past.
All right, guys. That's it for you for tonight. I've got to move on to Capricorn because then I have to get to bed. I have appointments all day tomorrow. If you want a full reading, please see my email in the box below and email me for a list of services. Um, if you can't get an answer there, I answer them every day or every um, next morning. Um, it might be in my spam folder. So you can go ahead and Facebook me or you can um, Skype me. My information is in the box below and um, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. But I'm still going to have you email me or give me your e email so I can email you a list of services, whether it's light work, whether it's whatever you need it to be. I'm looking for Capricorn in Capricorn season coming out. I'm looking for Capricorn energy, collective Capricorn energy. For the end of December into January. Okay, so you guys are working on some truths this month, okay? You guys are really, really going to be working on truths. Um, it's very important to you right now that you find out the truth of something, of some matter. Knight of Swords. So there's someone in your life that you wanted to find out the truth about. Um, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Mar Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus. Okay, if it doesn't apply to you, it doesn't apply to you. For the sake of everybody's sanity, including my fucking own, because I can't talk, I'm so tired, and it is 20 minutes of 3, um, I'm going to say Capricorn. Now, if Capricorn is doing this to you, it just means the energy is coming in vice versa. That's the way I read it. But there's something you want to know. There's there's information coming into you. And it's going to be swift and it's going to be quick and it's going to be truth. Um, it feels like someone might be cheating. Or you might be cheating and getting caught. Um, but there is a truth coming in, whether it's to you or from you. I can't see yet. Okay. Six of Swords. So whatever you find out, you're going to be emotionally narrowly escaping. This person isn't who you thought they were. Um, they might give small gestures of love. But it's not real. They're telling they might tell you they love you, but it's not real. I get the feeling of being cheated on or cheating on. Um this person, you gave up all your options for this person, okay, Capricorn? And this person did not give up their options for you. This is what I'm seeing. And I see that they have many people in their little black book that they can call. And I see justice there. So they may get their just dessert. You may call them out on it. This may be the breaking point. Um, with the Eight of Cups, you're stuck because you don't know what the truth is and you're not sure when or where to walk away. Yes, with the Six of Wands, this person definitely... Is not a victory for you. This is not somebody you're going to come in close contact with. This is not somebody that's going to be your thing. It's not somebody who's going to be your person, okay? This person comes with a lot of, of lies. There's a lot of truth coming your way. 
a lot of fighting. And this person is definitely a soulmate. Okay. Soulmates. Expiration dates. That's the way you can remember it. Be careful not to get this person pregnant. Okay. This person is a soulmate. That person will only end up pregnant if that's what's meant to be by the creator. Be careful with that. Because I see you wanting to reunite with this person, but there's secrets back there. There's things you're not being told. And it's telling you at this time, the best thing for you to do is pull back and go into hermit mode. Make a decision and know that this is not your four of wands. This is not your, um, you see the four of wands here? This is not your twin flame. Again, soulmates expiration dates, okay? And what they're telling you is to go into hermit mode. It's time to go into hermit mode. This person isn't going to be who or what you think they are. And make a decision. Balance and weigh it. Well, they haven't disappointed you yet. And there's been equal give and take. There's love. But there's been treachery in the past. Okay. Um, there's no judgment in on that yet. So the divine aren't telling me what I need to know yet, but you're still standing your ground. You want to know the truth. You want to, you want to get to the bottom of it. Um, if it's still nagging at you, you can email me at Trinity three, two, seven, one, nine at hotmail.com. Um, there is, I believe, can someone timestamp 40 minutes for Capricorn, please? Um, if you wouldn't mind. It's like you're still standing your ground because you want to know. But this person is done putting in the work. They're done manipulating you. They've moved on to someone else. And then with the Three of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, this right here tells me that there's heartbreak there. They're actually reversed. So it's in the past and they never intended to make an offer toward you. Like I said, it was just, you know, small gestures of love with the Page of Pentacles. I mean, the Page of Cups. Just small gestures of love. He doesn't even really have his feet under him. This person's secrets are going to come out soon and you're going to come to a crossroads and you're going to feel stuck because you're not happy. Yet you still want to wait and see how it works out. It's like you want to wait and see if the seeds you planted harvested or harvest. It's like you want to see if this person is really all as bad as people say or all as bad as you're feeling. Yes, this person is. Okay. This person is not a good person. And it's going to take you maybe losing a lot of money or giving this person a lot of money to finally realize that you're going to have to come to a decision about this person. Either they come or they go. There's third party situations and it's cyclical. Okay, it's cyclical. So you're really going to have to make up your mind, Capricorn, okay? <clears throat> and it looks like you're going to need to stand right in your power because this is somebody you have a background with, somebody you grew up with. Somebody that <clears throat> you don't necessarily have a background with or grew up with. But it could be one or the other or either or or both. It's someone you have a past with. It's someone that you have created some sort of situation with, whether it be karmic, whether it be soulmate, whether it be 
um, twin flame, all of you, it's going to be different. Okay. And you're just, it looks like you're just not willing Capricorn to take a chance on this person. So you're just making little, they're making little love gestures and you're just making little monetary gestures. If you don't know anything about a Capricorn, it's that they love their money. And it looks like it could get particularly nasty between you, the King of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is my abusive energy. So you're going to want to be really careful with this person because it looks like you're evenly matched to have horrible tempers. And you're not going to want to find yourself in a situation where you're confrontational with this person. And they may seem like they're all about you with the world and, you know, they want to include you, but the Queen of Cups is there. And the Queen of Cups in this position with this this particular wheel upside down or this world upside down tells me that this person isn't genuine, okay? This person isn't really genuine. Not at all what you wished for. The star and the devil, okay? Both in the reverse. They are both in the reverse. And it's letting you know that this is not what you wish for. This is not what you want in your life. It's time to move past this because it's going to turn physical. The way that both of you are hardwired, whoever you're with, Capricorn, it's going to turn physical. And so they're telling you, that it's time for a death and a rebirth and a re-evaluation and balance in the situation. Okay. Death and rebirth is, you know, the caterpillar going in and coming out the butterfly. And this talks, the two of pentacles talks all about, um, <clears throat> the balance of things. If you notice, well, not in this one. Usually there is a, um, no, I guess it's not worth mentioning since it's not in there, but it's, it talks about the infinity symbol in between these two balls and it's not there in this card, but it talks about rebalancing, rebirthing, regrowing. You're in a two cycle here with, with, um, death and rebirth telling you something needs to change or something's going to go out of whack. Something has got to change, Capricorn. Whatever this is, whether it's your wife not getting along with your kids that aren't hers or your husband not getting along with their, the kids that aren't hers or there's family dispute here and because you're evenly matched, you could be both particularly nasty and I feel like for a lot of you that's going to turn physical okay that's definitely going going to turn physical for you with the seven of wands and the king of wands this talks about the spirit of not giving up the king of wands doesn't give up he doesn't fail he's a Leo he's the king of the jungle what's to fail but with the seven of wands He's taking a stand, continuing to take a stand, take a stand, take a stand. When the problem is, is the communication needs to be cut off with the Eight of Wands. The communication really needs to be cut off with the Eight of Wands. Because the Eight of Wands comes with the Page of Wands, which tells me it's very uh, juvenile, immature behavior. This is not what you want in your life. Reevaluate is what they're saying. Reevaluate. What do you want in your life, Capricorn? That's the question. Okay, guys. So that was <sighs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I will be back for. Um... Well, 
well, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to do tomorrow, but I'll be, I'll be here to do them tomorrow after I get out of my appointment. It's your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot Bee in Boston. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you on the flip.